I've just clicked record, you'll be pleased to know. Um, so uh, the, the sort of the, how the um, morning is going, how the couple, next couple of hours is going to roll out is, is Neil's going to do a, uh, an address. Um, I'm just going to let you know about some, I, I recognise an awful lot of you, some of you, a lot of you have been on our sort of our, our, our business support um, um, webinars over the last two to three months. Those are going to continue into July and possibly into August as well, guys. So I'll do a little brief on that and then over to Sam for a few minutes to, to um, do a, an address, which will be super. And then we'll get on with the um, promoting your business. So, um, Neil, um, over to you to, uh, to, to kick us off, please. Great. Thanks, Adam. Um, we did the initial uh, picture business in January, I think, uh, in um, at one of our roadshow events in Liffey Valley. And as is usual with these things, you look around the room and nobody wants to stand up. And then uh, some lady stood up and kicked it off and got so enthusiastic, we practically had to get security together to sit down again. Um, but what, what the real utility of it, of course, is not when people are speaking at all. It's when we, uh, the ISMI team, wrapped up our tent and left, and we could see all these people exchanging business cards, uh, realizing that there were services they needed they hadn't heard of before, that there were people in their locality providing them. So that's what this is about. We really did scratch our head wondering how we were going to do this in COVID world, but I'm, I'm really delighted and grateful to Kira, Adam and Shima for putting this sort of uh, uh, virtual picture business together. Um, and the great thing about this is that having access to the slideshow that's behind this, you have everybody's card, not just uh, the one um, that, with the person you walk over to. So I'm not going to hog the limelight. The really important thing uh, to remember is uh, brevity is the soul of wit. Nobody's going to remember you if you go on for 10 minutes and it's it's your real quick elevator punch in the face business pitch that uh, wins your business. So over to you guys and best of luck this morning. That's great. Thank you, Neil. Thanks very much. Guys, I'm just going to do a quick screen share. Um, just I've got one slide. That's all. Um, uh, if I can get that to work. Um, so many of you will be familiar with what we've been doing the last two or three months. As I said just a couple of minutes ago, we're going to continue in the same vein. It's it's all about morale, confidence, and motivation. Um, we, you know, these these short webinars are great. They're sort of giving you five steps to a new era. Um, we are also doing slightly longer ones, where there are three webinars, a series of three, where we take you on a journey, whether it's digital marketing resilience in sales. Um, we did a great one with Sam uh, on Twitter. We're going to be doing LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram again as well. Um, things that we'd never really got around to doing when we were back in the old times, back in sort of mid-March, uh, where we were going to the office and what have you and getting bogged down in the weeds of, of administration. So, you know, we, there's a really good innov innovative mindset out there at the moment. And I think, I mean, it's just the, the numbers on this platform today really demonstrate that and the fact that we can run this again two or three times over with with, with other businesses as well so that's that, that's great we've got a new certified sme management program it's level seven we're running that in dublin cork and limerick um, but it's actually going to be obviously online for now so we're running that nationwide that's with griffith college um, and uh, as i say just our sort of business clinics um, is really around sort of getting yourself operationally um, well set up, um, new team leadership skills, managing remotely, that sort of thing. So that's that's really it from me on the on the learning front. Um, do keep a look out on our, our learning page, um, which is just isme.ie forward slash learning. Um, or, or drop me an email, let me know what you'd like to hear, whether you think there's something that we're missing a trick on, on our, our, our training schedule, adam at isme.ie. Very, very simple. So, um, that's enough from me. I'll bring you all back into the fray there. Um, so Sam, I'd like to hand over to you. Um, uh, you're very welcome. Uh, thanks for spending time with us this morning and giving us some of your views in the, in the world of business. Thank you so much, um, Adam, and thank you, Neil, as well. Um, what you're doing here is really, really essential. Uh, so welcome everybody. Like uh, the fact that you're actually showing up today 
is huge, you know, and, and, and even though, as I mentioned, I got a wisdom tooth taken out the other day, this is about suiting up and showing up um, because if you're not online and you're not showing what you do and what you're the expert in at the moment, especially during this really, really bizarre time, um, you will lose out to your competitors. Um, I don't know, you might have seen a certain hair salon trending on Twitter yesterday, for example. Some of the ladies will be familiar probably. Um, but it's, you know, for example, they aren't on Twitter, but yet they were being mentioned all over Twitter and PR campaign wise, you know, it's essential that you are there to respond to your customers and your haters in some way as well. You know, I have a lot of people who don't like me, you know, and I'm, what I do is I just ignore them and ignore the copycats and I just keep being the best at what I do. So for you guys here today, this is a chance and it's a really nice chance that you've been given and you know you're a member of ISME and ISME are doing a lot to help us out here and I really appreciate all the webinars and stuff um, and, and this is what it's about it's about us all pulling together now today and some of you know me some of you don't know me um, but I like some of you would know me when I started out, like Brian would know me when I started out and I, I had nothing, like I, I had a different business altogether. And then I pivoted my business and ended up doing Twitter and social media and showing people how to raise their profile. But my first business wasn't that at all. My first business was a first period gift box for girls. So sorry, lads, but um, that's what it was. And, you know, it, it's amazing and and you know from being on dragon's den from being on the tv and all everyone thought oh my god she must be loaded now and and i wasn't and people thought i got investment because it showed in the telly i did but i didn't um because there's due diligence and stuff like that but the people that have come at me on my journey and have been watching my journey will know that it's about resilience it's about expanding your network, helping others and sharing your knowledge. So all of us that are here today, we showed up. Okay. So today, if any of you want to tag me on Twitter, I have 54,000 followers and a lot of business owners are on Twitter. If you're not on Twitter, by the way, and your target customers are small business owners, it's very similar to LinkedIn, except it's a little bit more laid back. Um, so definitely do look into it. But LinkedIn even, you know, show your expertise by, by writing about what you're an expert in, but not a sales pitch. Like share your knowledge, like give us a tip today <clears throat> when you have your chance to do your pitch. Give us a little tip that you can take away with you today. Like I'm going to give you a tip today, right? So the biggest tip I can give you today is... Um, tweet or post between 9 and 11 p.m. That is the busiest time on social media. And if you want to get more followers or more people engaging with you, ask questions, use polls, ask your customers. Like how many of you have actually reached out to your customers during this pandemic and asked them how they are, you know? And even us all in here in the chat. You know, you might have noticed when you all joined in, I, I said hello to as many of you as I could when you joined. And doesn't that make you feel part of something and special? So it's all about the human, the human side of everything now. It's about compassion. It's about, it doesn't matter if, uh, if uh, Brian can't stand me or, you know, Dorothy, you know, we, we don't like each other, we're competitors. It doesn't, this is about working together now. We need to help each other and like businesses, we all, if we're going to survive, we have to keep working together. And that's why I always retweet people that tag me. I always try and help a business owner because people helped me when I was coming up along. Mark, for example, uh, my, I worked with Big Red Cloud a while back and, you know, we've always stayed in contact and we've always helped each other by sharing content. And, you know, it, it's about not slamming the door behind you with anybody. This is about reaching out to people maybe that you haven't engaged with in a while and seeing how they are and seeing is there a way we can help each other. Uh, so today when you're doing your pitch, um, definitely see is there something you can, you can give us today that we can take away about your business that's going to make us remember um, what it is, who it is, who you are and what you do. And don't be afraid to show the little human side. Um, 
you know, me talking about my tooth, I know it's nothing to do with business, but like then someone here this morning said, you know, well, actually I'm going to the dentist tomorrow. So we are all humans as well. And we have children and we have teenagers and we have all of that stuff. So this is about, um, if there's any way I can help you, uh, tag me on Twitter at Tweeting Goddess, tag me on LinkedIn, connect with me on LinkedIn. I will happily share whatever their business is. And especially if I know someone that might be a useful introduction for you, I will do that introduction and I will do that. I won't just say it. So it's about taking action as well. And a lot of you might know that I'm 12 years sober and that's kind of where my journey started. And there's a thing in the uh, fellowship and we, we say uh, a day at a time and this too shall pass. And so today, um, if we can just do something today useful that will get us through today that will make our day a day better for, for one of you or for me. If there's something we can do, one thing, just one simple thing, keep it simple. Maybe it's a useful introduction. Maybe it's a retweet. Maybe it's sharing someone's post. So that's all um, I'll say today because this is your time to shine now. This is your time to make an impact and make an impression. And if there's one thing you take away from today, maybe it could be just this too shall pass. And we will get there and together. And I know it sounds a bit fluffy, okay? But this is what people need at the moment. We need hope, we need compassion, and we need to know we're not on our own and you're not on your own. And if you need any help, just tag me and I will do my best if there's an introduction I can make for you today. All right, thanks. That's great. Thank you very much indeed, Sam. Very, very, <laughs> Thank very, you. very wise words. Thank you. Like I said, it's all in morale and confidence and, you know, keeping us all ticking over in very difficult time. Okay, so here we go. Um, I'm going to share my screen. Uh, it's the wrong one. Hold on. There we go. Um, can, uh, that was just, sorry, I didn't mention the Solus um, uh, the Solus supports. This is a new support. That, uh, the Skills to Advance came out late last year. Uh, point three is new. There's a, a new level six leadership management program. It's aimed at the northeast and the northwest. So if you're from that area and want more information on that, we have a strategic partnership with Solace to, um, uh, to, to, to promote that uh, management development program. So um, let's start the back to back to business and, and promoting of business. So I'd like to hand over if, if David Horgan from Petrol Resources would like to Unmute yourself, um, David. Just remember, guys, it's three minutes. Um, it's very much so, say who you are. Um, uh, you, obviously, name your company, your name, your company, what you do, and who you'd like to work with. So, David, over to you for three minutes. I don't know. Woody's has something online. It's non toxic. Okay, Rory, I'm, I'm on a business call, so I'll have to take it. Okay, I'll come and see when I'm finished. Guys, if you could mute yourselves, please. There's a bit of background noise there. Sorry, David, could you restart, please? Um, okay. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Bear with me. Okay. Can people give me a round of thumbs? Can you see my screen? Can you see that there? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I don't think David's on the call, so I'm going to move on to Pradeep from SALT. Pradeep, you've got three minutes. <clears throat> this is going well. Okay, we're going to move on to the next. Patrick Dillon from U Unique Electrical. Patrick, you've got the floor, <clears throat> three minutes. Hello, good morning everybody. It's nice to meet you all. I don't know if anybody knows me on here, but my name is Patrick Dillon. I run a very, very uh, unique electrical company. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, we're really, really diligent. Uh, we're really, really... Uh, yeah. Can everybody hear me? Hello? Hello? 
Hello. Hi, Patrick. I think we can hear you. Um, just, just keep going. Um, okay. We, we so, can hear you, but everyone's muted. So I, I run an, ele an electrical company here in Dublin, and Jordan COVID-19 has op opened my eyes to a new type of product or new type of service that we can bring out there to uh, clients. Uh, so what, what's going to happen, well, what I, what I can see happening coming down the road is that people are not going to be able to afford to call electricians when they're in trouble. And believe it or not, eight out of ten problems in somebody, somebody's home can be sorted out over the phone by an electrician. Uh, if, you, if, you're, if you're able to use a few tools yourself or able to, be, to take instructions from an electrician over the phone. So I've, I've developed this call, uh, they call an electrician service where we charge 40 euro for the 30 minute phone call or up to a 30 minute phone call where you can call me personally. I have a qualified electrician talk you through any situation you have in your, have in your home. Another little bit of information that I might be able to give you is, would be is there is an awful lot of stuff that's not within the electrical scope that people are calling electricians out to do, such as hang a light bit and I change the socket that's cracked and, and uh, that's cracked and broken. And you are legally able to replace these items yourself without actually being a qualified electrician. And you might not be confident enough to do it. So that's where we'll come in and rather than have to call out an electrician to do that, uh, to perform that task, you could possibly do it yourself and with the information of an electrician over a qualified electrician on the other end of the phone via a phone conversation or FaceTime, we'd be able to talk you through how to do the job and be a little bit more confident doing it. So that's a new product or service that I brought out during COVID-19 because I had people call me and have problems in the home and I was able to fix them over the, over the phone and that's where, where the idea came from. However, if you still need an electrician, we will discount the 40 euro for the phone conversation and call out to you for a call out charge anyhow. So that's who we are. We're Unique Electrical Limited. We uh, provide services around Dublin and Dublin and uh, commuter towns. But if you're in another part of the country and need some inf information, you're more than welcome to call me on 085-849-2845 or 612 That's me, Patrick Dillon, Unique Electrical Limited. Thank you. Well done, Patrick. Bang on three minutes. You've obviously been rehearsing that. Superb. Well done. And as, as I said earlier, if, if, um, if you miss any of the contact details, please contact us. We will gladly let you have those. So do, do um, uh, let us know. OK, moving on. We have Leon Atkins, a man I know well. Leon did our GDPR roadshows a couple of years ago when it was a hot topic. Leon, over to you for three minutes. Thanks very much, Adam. Uh, hi, my name is Leon. As you can see from my background, we're based in uh, Dunleary here in very, very sunny Dublin today. Uh, and I am the uh, CEO of uh, Impact Privacy. Uh, so what are we about? Well, the, as you will all know, the GDPR and data protection laws actually around the world are just making the use of people's personal data for business really complicated, risky, and potentially very, very costly. And at the same time, people's expectations that their personal data will be used fairly and lawfully and safely are really growing. Frankly, businesses that are not meeting these expectations will find that they're not sustainable. Put it simply, data protection is to customers as to health and safety is to workers, but only worse. Fines for GDPR breaches will happen and they will be very large and personal claims for breaches won't have to show material damage. So they don't need to break a leg or an arm. So stakeholders, those are investors and customers and people who uh, are invested in your business are absolutely concerned. And those that aren't soon will be, especially once the fines and the claims start accelerating, which they will. The problem is that we know that finding the right way to manage the risk for SMEs is very, very challenging. Do I speak to my solicitor? Should I get software to help? And if so, which one? Do I need to employ someone to do the job? Can I get someone internally to do it? What about information security? I've been told I need a DPO, but who can actually manage our data protection risks? So for SMEs like uh, all of us on the call here with limited resources, this means the challenge is that you either don't deal with the risk properly or at all, or you spend the resources that you have on elements of support only to discover it doesn't actually de deliver a solution. And that only usually gets discovered when it's too late. 
So we know that the SME, uh, the burden of compliance for SMEs is greater, the cost is higher, and the risk is far, far more significant. So that's why we launched Impact Privacy. And Impact Privacy is unique in responding to this challenge by providing a complete managed service for data protection, specifically for SMEs. So through our team of legal, privacy, compliance, risk, and information security experts, we allow you to pass the problem entirely to us. We then proactively design, implement, manage, and continuously improve your response to data protection, working just like you, we would be your data protection function. And our service is really intended to give you an enterprise level support so you can pass the day-to-day -day burden of managing and overseeing data protection compliance to us. And that will give you and your stakeholders and your customers confidence that data protection requirements are being met. Okay. 10 seconds, now, uh, Leon. You, Sorry you think interrupt. enterprise level service is expensive. It's not. It's all available for a monthly fee that makes compliance truly affordable investment in the future of your business. Contact me if you want to find out more about the service and other data protection services, and you can do so at any time. Thank you. Great. Thank you very much, Leon. Well done. Um, okay. Uh, next one. Oh, Yvonne couldn't make it. Um, okay. Um, Kevin at Accounting Pro, um, you've got the floor for three minutes. Hi there. I'm sorry, you might hear a little bit of back, background noise here because I'm minding my, my two-year-old, but I, I'll keep it brief anyway. So we provide um, accounting and payroll and tax services to um, SMEs and startups and also to contractors. So effectively speaking, like on a month-by-month -month basis, we can help out companies with all their all their accounting needs. Um, as well as that, like I mean, anything to do with like um, uh, legislation and uh, employment issues as well, we've got a very good uh, um, uh, subject matter experts involved in the company who can assist with things like that. Um, but really, the the point of me being on this call is like, we, 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 ironically, we've done okay, fairly well out of. Um, the last few months uh, because a lot of people have moved to contract and uh, what I wanted to kind of just put out there is like kind of like what Sam was saying e echo the sentiments like like kindness is invincible and it's good to give back and we've always tried to be a company that tries to help people out and we're kind of a forum to for questions and getting questions answered by um, customers and potential customers and what people will probably run into now is you know uh, revenue have been very kind um, overall, and so have the, um, you know, uh, CRO and stuff like that. But, you know, people may get into issues and we can give them a steer about how things can be handled and how they can maybe get out of issues before they become real issues. And also maybe give a steer on um, what's out there in terms of like um, finance and different things like that. I'm an ex-banker and um, I, I've worked for some of the major banks, so I could probably give a bit of advice around that kind of stuff. So... Really speaking, um, I just wanted to put it out there that, you know, um, if we can help anybody who's on the call or within the ISME, we'd, we'd, we'd be happy to do so. So get in touch if you want to. My details are there on the screen. Okay. That's great. Well, well done, Kevin. Thank you very much. Um, no very, very good. Um, on, on to the uh, next, we have John Whelan from Linkage Partnership. John, the floor is yours. Uh, good morning, everybody. Um, I used to head up the Irish Exporters Association, uh, stepped down five years ago and uh, um, set up a, the Linkage Partnership, um, uh, linked up with my colleague in uh, the Netherlands, Ryan English. Um, we have uh, offices in Dublin as well as in uh, the Netherlands. The team in the Netherlands is geared to, it's a multilingual team, uh, geared to doing market research and uh, uh, nailing down either new customers or new suppliers. So basically the linkage partnership is there to help small businesses at low cost uh, get into uh, markets. Typically our sweet spot is the, uh, across the European market. Uh, we're specifically also trying to uh, help companies who may be locked into the UK market and with Brexit may find it very difficult to keep rolling the business as before um, and need to find uh, an alternative uh, export market for their goods or a, uh, a new supplier for the goods in Europe. So it, it's um, a, a major assist for anybody uh, who wishes to move uh, away either for the first time into new markets or are already in some markets but not getting any kind of a return out of the market. So uh, hopefully um, there are some of the members of the ISME who would 
uh, be interested in doing, uh, you know, taking a, an early a brief workshop with us. We identify what your potential uh, markets could be, and then we go uh, with your agreement, nail down the um, uh, the end customers, and make sure that you start up the business uh, with them in terms of the trading, and help you to manage the uh, uh, the uh, the sale, the, the export sale, or identify and manage the import uh, track. Again, with a lot of small companies, language across Europe can be a problem. Our multilingual team uh, handle all those kind of uh, issues in terms of the language barriers. So it, it's uh, uh, hopefully for small businesses who would not necessarily meet the uh, Enterprise Ireland standards for uh, assistance, uh, we offer a, a, a similar wide range, but at much uh, a lower cost. And uh, hopefully um, we can help uh, some of the businesses who may uh, find Brexit a difficulty and also may find that the, the COVID has maybe wiped out some of their um, uh, customers abroad or their suppliers abroad. So um, please give me a call. Anybody who's uh, interested, you can catch me on mobile number 087 927 1243 um, or at the uh, john.wheelan at linkage, linkage partnership.eu. An easy checkout, by the way, is just go to our website, linkage-partnership.eu, and you'll see the, exactly what we're up to. Thank you very much. That's perfect, John. Thank you. That was bang on three minutes. Superb. Um, that actually is very, very important. It was part of the OECD report at the end of October last year that internationalization for Irish SMEs is very important. We rely too much on the UK. So new markets, new services, very topical. Thank you, John. Moving on to the next, um, Kevin Brady. Kevin, over to you, three minutes. Okay, Kevin's possibly not on the call unless he's having audio trouble. Kevin. Okay, next one. John Moore, please. Smart, uh, smart Media. John, you got the floor there. Okay. Um, Safan, I know you're here because I've seen you. Safan, you've got the floor, three minutes. Hi folks, how's everybody? Um, just to let you know what Internate does, so I'm a marketing strategy advisor with Internate and we're all about providing access for any size of business to director level marketing experience. So either on a project or a part-time basis, uh, whatever your business needs at the time. So marketing is not a hard thing, but unfortunately there's no easier way to waste money than by doing the wrong marketing. Um, often businesses, especially smaller businesses, can opt to use advertising channels that they're familiar with themselves. Facebook is a classic example. Um, it may be a great channel to have a chat, but it may not be the right channel to meet your business goals. It might be, but it might not be. Uh, so we're all about looking at what is very cluttered advertising channels at the moment but comparing your goals and your needs to those channels and really building a marketing strategy that puts your business objectives to, to the forefront. Um, we take time to get to know how your company operates, what you're trying to achieve. We take time then to get to know the market that you're operating in. And from there, we identify the opportunities that the right marketing activity can take advantage of. Um, it's all about working to the budget that you do have available, not about promoting high priced campaigns. Um, and it's all about delivering the growth that your business really needs. So we know from over 20 years experience that if a business has a practical marketing strategy, we're giving a shield to our clients from distractions. There's so much going on in the world of advertising these days and there can be an awful lot of shiny new distractions coming out on a constant basis. But really by having this shield to those distractions, you're using the right channel to target the right customer at the right time. We also build in the right messaging so people understand what it is you're trying to say to them when you do get in front of them. So we make your marketing work really hard for you. We make your budget work really hard for you. And we're all about keeping the plan simple and easy to measure. At the end of the day, if you're not measuring absolutely everything you do, there's very little point in doing it. You really need to know where the success is coming from. 
So we're happy to work with any size company across any industry. Uh, we're currently working with a number of ISME members. Um, I did a webinar recently, a webinar series there with Adam, uh, just on the value of a marketing strategy and what it's all about. Um, and we are working with a couple of companies on, on the back of that. Uh, so we have direct experience in retail, uh, so software as a service, e-commerce, manufacturing, recruitment, hospitality. But to be honest, the principles of marketing really can be applied across any industry. It's all about knowing what your customer wants, what language they speak, and I'm not just talking about, in my case, English, but do they need a tech uh, piece of conversation or would they prefer a more um, explanatory uh, about your product, explanatory message? How is it that they're going to consume what it is you're saying to them? So to end on a, on a good note, I hope, um, if you're an ISMA member, we're happy to offer a 50% discount on a marketing health check, which would allow us to come in and look at what you're doing at the moment to review all of your current activity um, and to maybe point out a couple of areas that we feel could be improved. Um, we're also happy to offer a 15% discount to any ISMA members on a marketing strategy package, which is a lot more detailed a process, but is really about getting to the nuts and bolts of your business um, and making sure that everything is set up the way it is to deliver that growth that you're chasing. Okay, that's, that's great. It, that's, it, that's, that's great, Safan. Thank you very much for those kind offers as well. Highly recommend Safan having done some webinars for us. So uh, moving on to the next, um, we have Isam Bishara. Isam, are you, are you online? Are you tuned in with us? No? Okay. Uh, Dara Byrne, Dara, over to you for three minutes, please. Okay. Uh, Rosemary, Rosemary Lafferty, are, are you there, Rosemary? Yes, I am. Um, Great. Hi, Rosemary. How are you doing? <laughs> Hi, I'm doing well. Thank you. Good Hello, stuff. everybody. Um, so, just to quickly let you know what I can do for your business. Um, so, basically, what I do for a lot of SMEs, they come to me and say, one of sort of four key services. Sometimes I'd come and say, I know I should be doing stuff on social media. I have the kind of content in my head but I just I don't have the time I don't know how to phrase it to make it you know to make a, a user stop scrolling on LinkedIn or whatever so I work with people to work with their content create it make it useful put it on social media you know put it out monthly or weekly or whatever um, in a way that will actually be productive and, and get them more clients um, second thing I would work with people is SEO. So a lot of people are out there saying, I've heard all this stuff about optimizing for search engines, but I haven't a clue how to do it or what does it mean? So I work with people simplifying that and then working their keywords into their website and their social media. And then another thing people often ask me to do is they say, look, I, I just, I, I'm all over the place with my marketing. I, I do a bit and then I stop when I get busy um, and they're looking for a plan. So that's something we do. And even though it's called a digital marketing plan, I always like to put in, you know, the, the traditional stuff, the networking that has to kind of integrate with your digital stuff. You know, if you meet someone at a, at a, a if we ever get to meet people again in, in person, um, you know, you meet them at a thing, then immediately send them a, a connection request on LinkedIn. So you integrate it with your digital. And then sort of the fourth thing I would say do primarily is um, website project management. So again, people come to me and say, well, our website isn't up to scratch. It's not getting us the, the leads we should be, but we don't, we don't have the time, A, or B, we're not exactly sure how to go about it. So that's a... Um, I'm not a web developer, but I work closely in partnership with the web developer. So for that, someone would come to me and I would project manage it, put in all the keywords, do it through. As part of that, I would do a digital marketing plan so that you have a clear plan of which the website is one part and then you have your social media and everything else. So that's kind of what I do. I hope that's a help. Um, just as a tip. Um, for everyone, I would say if you're trying to think what content can I put out there, a great way to start is ask what your, your customers frequently ask questions are and just use that as a basis for social media posts. It really makes sure that they're useful because you're answering a question and you know you've already been asked. So um, I've no idea how many minutes that is, but I'm done. <laughs> That's very good. You're actually well within time. You, you had 20 seconds left, Rosemary, okay. but thank you very much. That was a very good elevator pitch. Thank you very much indeed. Okay. Thank you. Okay, moving on. Um, next, we have Alina 
um, profit for uh, with purpose. Elena, are you on? Are you tuned in? I am indeed. Can you hear Great. me? Okay. Great. Yeah. So hello, <laughs> and thank you so much for the opportunity to present my business to the Disney community today. So my name is Elena Rossi, and as you probably recognize from my accent, I am Italian. Sorry, Elaine, um, I think you just dropped out there. We just heard, okay. I am Italian, I think you were saying. Yes, I was. Can you hear me okay? We can hear now, yeah. Unfortunately, my connection. Is it okay? Yeah, carry on now. Okay, yeah, great. So, um, I was saying that my professional life has been largely spent from Europe Packard to Vivendi to Salesforce.com. And uh, in particular, I have spent 14 years working for Salesforce, community programs all over EMEA and uh, international development programs in East Africa, building partnerships with both local organizations and global networks. Um, as I'm a strong believer in the power of collaboration between the business community and the not-for-profit industry, to create shared solutions for social good. In uh, 2019, I have founded Profit with Purpose Ireland. Uh, Profit with Purpose supports companies interested to add a social purpose strategy into the business model. We do this by using the Sustainable Development Goals Framework, aligning it to the company's resources, so the people and the profit, and uh, we've also developed our own set of tools to help leadership teams to discover their social vision and to share that vision among all the company's stakeholders. Um, aligning a social impact strategy to business goals um, is not only a moral imperative for sustainability, but it makes business sense. It's good for business from a branding perspective, Consumers are, in fact, more inclined to buy from ethical companies. It makes the company more competitive in the marketplace, with 80% of employees choosing to work for companies who have social corporate responsibility programs in place. And it's now increasingly good for investors. Um, we've seen it with BlackRock, uh, the biggest global investment firm, which is shifting its capitals out of the and into the environmental social governance or ESG portfolios. So who do we work with? We work with organizations of all sizes. Uh, we have a genuine interest in implementing a social impact strategy with companies who have already some structure in place in terms of CSR and those who are starting off new. So if you'd like to get in touch, please do so by visiting my website with purpose.ie via LinkedIn at Elena Rossi or on Twitter by searching Elena Rossi. <laughs> Thank you and uh, have a good day. Thank you, Elena. That was very, very well done. It was uh, well within time. Thank you very much. Uh, very interesting business. Thank you. Um, okay, we move on to uh, Martin, Martin Flynn from OK Who's Next. Martin, over to you. Hello uh, and good morning, everybody. Thanks very much for this opportunity to tell you a little bit about OK Who's Next. We, we provide appointment management software for any type of appointment based business, such as hairdressers, beauticians, barbers, business instructors, therapists. In fact, any type of business that operates on an appointments basis, whether it's one person business or a multi person business. OK Who's Next takes the hassle and stress out of managing appointments where our customers can promote their services, prices, and most importantly, their availability and available slots, which show in our iOS and Android apps. And their clients can book appointments instantaneously, literally in a matter of seconds. Businesses can take multiple appointments in the time that it takes to answer one phone call or email. And now with the lifting of its restrictions, particularly for uh, close contact appointment-based businesses, it's more important than ever to let clients pre-book in advance uh, and come comply with, with, say, contact tracing requirements as well. For our business, we would, I would like anybody there that knows of appointment-based businesses that are stressed at the moment with the thoughts of not only just adhering to the PPE and the social distancing, but also how they're going to manage their appointments uh, to check us out 
Uh, we're a new Irish business backed by Enterprise Ireland, and we'd love to talk to anybody uh, at the moment uh, in an, on an employment basis. So uh, thanks very much for the opportunity to tell you a little bit about OK Who's Next. That's great. Thank you very much, Martin. I, again, another very interesting business and all the best with uh, getting yourself out there. Um, Cheers, thank you. Thank you. Um, oh, Maria, Maria O'Dwyer. I know Maria well. Maria's done some training for us in the past. Maria, you have the floor for three minutes. Uh, businesses, have, uh, businesses have three choices when it comes to their team members and when dealing with their team members. They can train, they can tolerate, or they can terminate. So two of these options are very, very costly and very, very painful if you've ever been through a termination process or if you've had to tolerate bad employees. So I help businesses to avoid this pain. Hi everyone, my name is Maria O'Dwyer and my business is Maria O'Dwyer Coaching. I am a leadership coach, career coach and business coach. And what I do is I provide coaching and training programs for both businesses and professionals who are looking to make a change. These programs are bespoke and they're tailored to meet your business objectives. So the areas that I really focus on for businesses would be around leadership coaching and training, and also help with recruitment and retention, consultancy services, and also um, on occasion would we'll deal with uh, professional development topics such as resilience, goal setting, and confidence within their employees. In terms of the professionals who I help, I help also mid-level professionals who uh, do with career coaching, who helps if they're looking for a change, if they're looking to get a promotion, and um, so I work with them on an, on an individual basis. So I really work with any businesses who are passionate about their employees, who want to invest in their staff and are looking for maybe a cost effective strategies or programs that they could easily implement into their business to get great results. Um, so again, I would love to help anyone uh, within the ISME community if, there, if you ever have any queries in regard, regard to how to position your business to attract, retain, and to develop your talent, or if you already know that you've got great talent and you want to invest in a training program or a coaching program, I would absolutely welcome a conversation at any time. Once again, my business is Maria O'Dwyer Coaching. Thank you very much. Well done, Maria. Thank you very much indeed. Um, and uh, as I just mentioned, actually, we have worked with Maria in the past, and um, if there are any requirements that you have there, that would you'd like to speak to Maria, we can subsidize through the skill net as well. It's worth bearing in mind. Okay, well done. Thank you, Maria. Um, on to the next, um, um, Barney. Barney Callahan, are you online, please? Yes, indeed. Good morning, all. Good can, I get a can I get a thumbs up if you can hear me okay? Thank you, folks. Good usually, GE. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, Barney Callahan's my name. Uh, I'm Limerick based. Um, I'm in exile since my late teens. It's your email. My compliments to Isme uh, with this facility, evidence of creativity and innovation, not for the first time. Thank you. Um, Callaghan Associates is my business. Uh, I had an earlier career and I work in the learning and development arena. I had an earlier career as a military officer in the Irish Defence Forces of a training and service overseas. I've experienced as a senior public service manager and laterally as chief executive of a national organisation and as lecturer and teacher also. I'm self-employed with Callahan Associates since 2013, appropriately qualified as a coach and trainer. I have international coaching and training experience in Europe, the USA and South America with both individuals, national bodies and international organizations. Callahan Associates is a learning development and coaching business focused on enabling people to make progress in their lives and businesses and to facilitate organization development and change. We're partially driven by the philosophy of the late John O'Donoghue, espousing that a world lives within you. No one else can bring you news of this inner world. Callaghan Associates Coaching is guided by the ethical guidelines of the International Coaching Federation. It is solutions focused and person centered and underpinned by four things. Bringing with people to awareness, things that are currently out of awareness, enabling people to get out of their own way to make progress in work and life, focuses very much on emotionally intelligent competencies and behaviours and supporting people to more effectively manage their time. Callaghan Associates 
learning, training and development is delivered to specification as required, can be driven by a training needs analysis if required, and is deliverable in a participative coaching style where the learner participant is encouraged and enabled to take responsibility for their own learning and continuous professional development. Training and development is delivered based on knowledge, skill, attitude and behaviour required by people and required and specified by organisations. Callaghan Associates, ladies and gents, contact details there and my compliments and thanks again to all and particularly to Ismay for creating this opportunity. Mila Wiggins. That's, that's great. Very, very, that, that's great, Barney. Um, um, Adam at isme.ie. Can you drop me a line, please? That's super. Um, thanks indeed, Barney, for your time there. Very well presented. Um, we have Brian Matthews, Aurora Business Development. Brian, are you with us? Yes, I certainly am. Hiya, Brian. Good, good afternoon, Adam. Good afternoon. Your time starts now. Good opportunity. No and thank you very much for Ismay for making all of this possible. And you're all very welcome. My name is Brian Matthews, and I founded my company in 1984. From looking at all the lovely profiles on here, I would guess I'm by far the oldest person on here, which is great because I've got vast amount of experience in business. We've worked with over 2,800 companies worldwide, from very small, medium to very large companies and multinationals. We've worked in Ireland, Europe and the UK, but now I'm concentrating all my efforts in Ireland and locally in the sunny southeast. The main focus of our business nowadays is on lean and the elimination of waste. And we got involved in this in 1984 when it was neither fashionable nor good to be involved in lean. The word gave all the wrong connotations. I even said to Dan Joan who invented it, we call it continuous improvement. It sounds much better. We work with small companies and help them become profitable, help increase productivity, and above all, help them to identify and eliminate waste within their business. We've had a remarkable success series over the years, and I still love doing it. I had dropped out of business for about 15 months due to family bereavement, but I'm now back working full time and absolutely loving it. And I just want to end up by thanking you all very much for this opportunity to highlight my business once again. Thank you. That's great, Brian. Thanks very much. Uh, there. That was um, another uh, very interesting business. And, and Lean is obviously becoming more and more popular now. So a very good spot to be in there. Um, and very topical at government level, of course. Um, uh, uh, so next we have Ronan Bean, uh, SRS Fire Systems. Uh, Ronan, are you with us? Sorry, it's actually Stephen filling in for Ronan, and I know the screen tells everybody I'm Maddie, but I'm not actually Maddie. So it's, uh, <laughs> it's uh, Stephen Barry here from SRS Fire Systems, um, and just a very quick overview of what we do. We are uh, a fire systems company. We have two strands to the business. One is Projects Driven, um, which sell uh, supply and commission systems into every type of building you can imagine, from small retail units to big hospitals. Um, and the second strand of the business is to do with service and maintenance. Um, every building in the country should have a service and maintenance agreement, um, both on fire alarm, emergency lighting and extinguishers. And what we offer is um, that full service and full portfolio of, of uh, a compliance. Um, and compliance is the big word. Um, so um, we have a team of engineers. We cover nationwide uh, and we offer a 24 7 365 call out facility as well. Um, so again, I'd like to thank Ismi for the opportunity um, to talk today and introduce our business. We're two years in existence. Uh, the three guys uh, that set it up, myself and two of the lads, work for multinationals. Um, and we decided uh, we've seen an opportunity for a small independent um, and hopefully again a bigger independent to offer the service and give that customer service um, to the market. Um, so as I say, SRS Fire Systems, everything you want in fire alarm, emergency lighting, extinguishers, um, and our details are there. And thanks for the opportunity again. That's great, Ronan. Thanks very much indeed. And you're very welcome. Um, very well presented there. Next, we have Alex Thornton. Alex, are you with us? I am indeed, Adam. Thank you very much. Can everybody great. Be okay? Yes, we've got you. Thanks, Alex. The floor's yours. Thank you very much. So, Activity CRM, we're a solution provider. Um, what we provide in the solutions is 
something that will help all businesses, organizations become better organized. And um, being better organized means you get better results. And to give you some numbers that that relates to, increase your sales by 29% and increase your productivity by 34%. What is also interesting, Amazon. Now we've all heard of Amazon, have implemented a CRM platform. And since implementation, they've been able to increase repeat business by over 80%. So what is a CRM? Well, a CRM is a contact cost of customer relationship management platform. It allows you to manage all contacts. And when we talk about contacts, it's customers, it's prospects, it's suppliers, it's even staff. So any form of contact can be managed in the platform. It will bring automation into many of your processes and workflows. It will help you keep on top of what needs to be done, when it needs to be done, and to prioritize it. So our platform is a fully customizable, configurable platform. And what I mean by that is that we work with you to customize it so the platform works in the way that your business works, unlike other platforms, which is designed that you have to adapt to meet the software. And that's not very convenient. And also it can become very, very costly if you want to do any amendments, changes, or customization to that. So at Liberty CRM, contact us and we can help you. And another key factor, something that's been mentioned quite a lot, especially from these marketing professionals here today, is the importance of marketing. Marketing is only as good, as pointed out by the contact, but also getting that right message out there. But it is also important to identify who you want to market to. And you could run several different marketing campaigns to several different classifications of contacts. But of course, you also need to be able to gather the analytical information, what's working, what's not working. Our platform allows you to work within the marketing aspect. You can manage your web to leads, set up a whole host of automated processes and functions so you can follow up those inquiries. And of course, one thing I always say with an inquiry, if you're not the first to respond to it, somebody else already has. And anybody going online and they may contact you for, with an inquiry, we'll probably be contacting at least two other companies. So Alex Thornton, at Liberty CRM, we make uh, businesses better organized for better results. Thank you. That's, that's great, well done. Thank you very much indeed, Alex. Um, next up, we have David Lang from Phone Pulse. David, over to you. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm just going to, if that's okay, just uh, share a slide if that's possible. Um, <clears throat> just introduce Phone Pulse. We're 30 years in business. We specialize in communica voice communications for SME clients. We've over 3,000 customers across Ireland and in Europe. And what we're doing at the moment is we're very much focusing around delivering solutions to the small, medium business uh, customers uh, out there that are looking to resolve challenges around remote working. So many businesses are now working from home today and as a result of that um, they're challenged in providing solutions for their staff to continue to deliver a seamless communication to their customers around voice. So we've developed a number of different solutions to meet those needs and what we have today is we have the ability to offer a client a solution that allows them to work, communicate to their customers, even though the staff are working from home, as if they're in the office. And in doing so, they're now communicating uh, to each other and to the customer without the need of call diverts, call the diverts to mobiles, etc. So we've got a solution we call Mercury. And that Mercury solution allows us to uh, replicate your phone system in the cloud. You don't have to change your phone system. We'll just allow you to communicate via the cloud so that your customers are actually 
uh, being able to call you and connect your staff remotely. So users, uh, staff can connect by a cell phone like you're using at the moment with Zoom, or we can give you an app on your smartphone. So now calls are actually coming to your, uh, your staff via your main telephone number that you've continued to promote and allowing staff to intercept those calls and pass those calls between users. So this is a very popular solution that we've actually got on the go at the moment. It's addressing challenges for companies that have staff all distributed across the country. And as David, a result, yes. I've just, I've just made you a host. You can share that, that slide very, very quickly if okay. you like. That's great, thank you. You've very still much. got 40 seconds. Okay, great. So <clears throat> just to show you here, the solutions we have is you can have desk phone, saw phone, cordless phone, so your staff can be connected um, using the solution remotely. And as a result, we now have a situation where your existing phone system can continue to work in the office, but we can connect all of your remote staff um, to your phone system with our solution by just using an app or a, a soft phone on, your, on the, the user's desktop at home. 10 seconds, and it's David. A very simple, there's an initial setup fee of 300 euro and we just charge eight euro per user per month. And that's it, there's no contract either. Thank you for your time. Great, very well done. Thank you very much, David. If I could ask you to make me the host back again, please. You'll do that by hovering your cursor over your, your video. Top right, there'll be three dots in a blue square. It should give you a drop down option to, to make me host again, I think. There we go, that's great. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Um, okay, and I just get the screen, my screen back up, it's not allowing me to. Ah, David, I think you just disabled participant um, uh, sh screen sharing, so I can't get the next screen up. So, well, um, I've if got I the... if I drop out, will that resolve it for you? And uh, come back in? It might do. It might do. You should be able to do it from from there. But listen, I um I I can do it sort of from from where I'm sitting, but we just won't have the the business cards up on the screen. I can't share the business cards. Um, so if we can find a quick solution, that'd be great. But we better just press on because there's a few to get through. David, um, if you're, sorry, if David is host, if there is the security down beside participants on his screen and there's the little shield that should allow him there to allow to, to share screen from that. Okay, Maureen, thank you. Um, so, uh, yes, David, just, enabled, you're still down as host there. Actually, it shows that you're recording the session. So if... Um, There's a few people leaving. You're all very welcome. Um, guys, what we might do is uh, I, I'm going to press on. Um, we have Brian McCoy from Hibernian Health. Brian, are, are you with us? Yes, indeed. Um, Super. Um, Great. The floor is you yours. Can hear me? Yes, you can hear me. Good afternoon, guys. Thank you very much for this opportunity to talk about Hibernian Healthcare. I'm Brian McCoy, and I'm the commercial director of the company. Hibernian, uh, we provide nursing support services on behalf of certain pharma clients with specific products to patients who can administer them in their own home. So they need patient care. But today I specifically want to talk about safety. And Hibernian is actually all about safety, patient safety, people safety, and employee safety. Um, recently we've been testing employees pre-returning to the workplace to keep them and their colleagues safe. So, Essentially, we are, with the opening of Ireland, um, it'll lead to further spread of COVID-19. This will make the running of our businesses more difficult. The placing of our teams will be at risk. Our company's productivity through absenteeism will definitely diminish. Though so Hibernian is taking the uncertainty of a COVID-positive team member out of the equation. So we test employees using qualified nursing, the tests are quick, easy, they're non-traumatic, and they're administered with care in your own premises. Big thing. So we swab test for COVID testing, and we blood test for COVID antibody testing. This ensures the results are available quickly and efficiently, 
and for the swab tests at 48 hours, the blood 72 hours. In the event of a positive result, our nurses will provide sort of medical advice and support to the employee because a positive result can be a frightening result indeed. So we offer COVID-19 antibody testing also on an ongoing basis for employees who suspect they may have had COVID. So um, they're all carried out in your premises and um, it kind of stops interfering or disrupting your employee's day. Um, the GDPR compliance piece is very well covered. We're used to doing that, so we're totally compliant there. And then afterwards, we will do a lot of ongoing monitoring, <clears throat> weekly testing if necessary, daily temperature testing, continuous symptoms testing. So the whole resident desk is to keep your team safe. So if you want a turnkey solution for your testing and keeping your employees safe as they return to your office, call us on our, uh, I think the number's on the screen there, and, or you can call me directly on 087-717-6448, and uh, we'd be delighted to talk to you. We kind of tailor it to the number of employees you have, the premises set up you have. So we'll do it all for you, take the whole heat out of it, and keep your employees safe and less risk of spreading COVID-19. So thank you very much for listening to everything Hibernian has to offer. Excellent. Thank, thank you very much indeed, Brian. That's obviously very topical um, and uh, that's very succinctly put there. Thank you. Um, we have Maria O'Donoghue next. Maria, are you, are you there? Hi. Yeah, I'm here. Great. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Maria and my company is Office Assist. Uh, we're a virtual office uh, based in Charleville, County Cork, but we cover the country. Uh, today I'm going to just talk briefly about three aspects of our business the telephone answering service, our bookkeeping, and our payroll. Um, with the telephone answering service, it's personalized to your business. So we answer the phone in your business name. Uh, the caller on the other side of the phone doesn't actually know they're through to a telephone answering service unless you tell them they are. And we have different pricing packages to suit everyone, um, you know, from your starter to right up to multinational. So should you wish to add to the service, we can also do diary management and call transfer. Um, the power is in your hands. You choose when to divert. We do recommend that you divert, um, well, you can divert all the time, or you can, when you're in a meeting, like a Zoom meeting at the moment that we're going through, uh, working to a deadline when you're attending a family event on holidays, or just when you just need a break from the phone. Um, why should you divert? Well, 70% of people don't actually leave voicemails. I know for a fact I don't. Um, so in that case, who is answering your phone but your competitors? Um, so you can use our services as it will help. I would use our services as it will help grow your business, and it is cost effective. Our clients vary from micro businesses right up to multinationals, from accountants and vets to private detectives and interior designers, and pretty much everything in between. Um, we are currently offering a no obligation free two week trial for our service. So really, what have you got to lose? You know. Um, also, if you feel you know somebody that could use the service, we are happy to give them the two-week free trial as well. Our bookkeeping service, uh, firstly, we're not accountants, but we do like to think that we make accountants' life that little bit better and easier. Um, we process invoices, receipts, payments, your day-to-day -day bookkeeping, uh, bank recs, all those lovely things that people like to do on a Sunday evening. Um, we try to do all our bookkeeping as quickly as possible so that you'll have a good idea of how well your business is doing. Again, our client base is wide and varied from micro to multinational. We do the books for um, food companies, builders, transport companies, and every, really everything. We are a multi-award winning company, um, being the only company in Ireland to have Luca Award, and that comes thanks to Mark O'Dwyer from Big Red Cloud. Um, so please feel free to visit us on the website www.officeassist.e or give me a buzz at any stage. So you have my number there. So that's Maria from Office Assist. Thank you. Great. Th thank you very much, Maria. Apologies about my wine rack behind me there. I'm to get chased around the room by the sun. Um, so, um, okay, over to Mark. Mark O'Dwyer. Um, you're very welcome, Mark. Thanks very much, um, Adam. Uh, Maria, thanks very much for the shout out there. Yes, she is the only uh, bookkeeping 
company in Ireland to have that look award, which is great. A uh, shout out to Sam, who forgot to mention what she does. She helps people shine online, and she certainly helped us during our campaign to win uh, the sponsor for a day for Leinster, where we got the bigger cloud on the front of the Leinster jersey. Sam said, did make it a bit personal, so I'm dressed in a nice shirt, but if I step back, you might see I'm in shorts. So uh, that's my personal side. Uh, Mark O'Dwyer is my name. I'm CEO of Big Red Cloud and Big Red Book. Uh, we're 27 years in business, so not as, as long in business as some of you guys. Uh, we specialize in uh, online accounting and payroll software. We have over 55,000 customers in uh, Ireland and the UK, and we help SMEs like you run a better and more profitable business by having access to your accounts. Uh, we work through accountants and bookkeepers like Maria who use our software to do the books for uh, companies, but we also make it so simple for business owners to use our software uh, to enable them to do their own books if they wish, and they can give free access to the likes of Maria uh, to do their fine, fine tuning if they wish. Uh, some of the key benefits we have here, we're one of the only uh, software, uh, accounting software companies that still offer telephone support from our offices here in uh, Dublin and Glenageary, and uh, we have a change or delete function. The point about that is that it gives business owners uh, the confidence to do their own books, and if they've made their mistake, it's like Tipex, they can just Tipex it out and edit the software. It's, there's a full audit trail, so you can't get staff ripping you off. So uh, that's to bear that in mind. Uh, as I said, we're 100% Irish. We fully comply with all the Irish revenue re tax requirements, uh, both on the payroll and on VAT. Unlike some of our competitors, such as Sage, QuickBooks, and Zero, and I mentioned my competitors because they don't comply fully with Irish VAT regulations, and that's something to bear in mind. You've got to do extra work to work around the stuff uh, that they don't do. We're here supporting Irish businesses, over 55,000 companies for the last 27 years. And now of all times, it's really important for all of us to support Irish business and buy Irish. So if you don't need an accounting package and you do know somebody who does know, need one, we have a special offer at the moment. It's 299 euros that represents a 25% discount off our product. Uh, we've got great features such as a mobile app. If you've got reps on the road, they can do uh, invoices on the go. They can collect money on the go. They can do quotes on the go off their uh, smartphone. Uh, we have a new feature, which is a purchase invoice importer, which saves huge amounts of time uh, and administration by just getting your suppliers to email the invoice directly into Bigger Cloud, and it's automatically uploaded. Uh, we're just working on our open banking app, which should be out in the next two to three weeks and that will enable you to do automatic bank reconciliation whether you use AIB, Bank of Ireland, Ulster Bank, they'll be seamless. All the transactions in your bank account will be in your bank account within Big Red Cloud. Um, so that's really all I want to say. I don't want to go over my three minutes. Uh, there is a special offer of 299 euros for 14 months access to our software. Uh, we also have the payroll. We fully comply with the TWS, the Temporary Wage Subsidy Scheme. And in fact, we had to rewrite our payroll three times in the space of a month. In one week in March, we got 3,000 phone calls because people couldn't get onto the revenue, but we answered all their questions. So that's us. I'm Mark O'Dwyer. Our uh, website is biggercloud.com. There's a 30-day free trial. Please check it out and see how easy it is to use. Thanks Great. very much, Thank Adam. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Very well done. Just two seconds over there. So you did really well there. It was fantastic. Good stuff. Um, okay, we have John Brady from Bowsey. Johnny, are you with us? Uh, yes, I'm here. Super. Great to see you. The floor's yours. Hi, guys. Uh, 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 very great to be here. Uh, my name is John Brady, uh, and I'm one of the co-founders of uh, a new Irish startup called Bowsey.com. So in the scheme of things, we're one of the, the newbies here. We were founded uh, last year in uh, Croatia, and I'm moving back to Ireland. And we've just uh, launched this platform called Bowsy, which is basically, it's a remote working platform that connects students with small businesses like yourselves. So we're dealing primarily with postgraduate students. We have uh, 18 uh, students, mainly volunteers, coming from the Michael Smurfer Graduate School of Business from Trinity College and NCI. And uh, the idea here is with the platform is a remote working platform that connects students with your business where they can perform tasks for you. And a task can be anything like from a four hour bit of work to uh, a longer term uh, uh, project. So uh, some of the examples of the tasks the students are doing, we, we talked about earlier on today in terms of let's say doing uh, search engine optimization for you. It could be uh, designing a logo. Uh, it could be uh, helping you with, with a, uh, designing a web page. Could be translation services helping you with, with a, a business plan. And as well as you know, the small companies that are here today that uh, are suffering with the COVID-19, I think the students now are facing a huge crisis where the graduate jobs are disappearing, internships are disappearing, and then the traditional jobs they had working in restaurants and bars have gone. So the idea here is to get students uh, to help small businesses get back to work and get students uh, uh, working in study-related tasks 
that can help uh, uh, their experience and help them get into, into the job market as well. So we're, we're basically, as part of this, we're inviting uh, members of the ISME to uh, log on to our website, bowsy.com, uh, and we're offering free trial for uh, some of the uh, companies. We've already started reaching out to some companies, emailing them. We've, we've been looking at the member directory of the ISME. And we've seen some, some uh, member, for example, does, has a domain but doesn't have a website, so we'd offer to do a landing page for them. Or there's an accountancy in Dublin that uh, appears on page four of Google search results when uh, uh, someone types in accountants Dublin, and we can help improve that with the SEO or with translation, etc. So we're offering free trial for everybody here. If people like... Uh, the services or think they can take uh, advantage of the services then we'd invite you back uh, and uh, for paid uh, services all the money is going to the uh, students at the moment and like we said we're dealing primarily with postgraduate uh, students and we're partnering with the Michael Smurfer Graduate School of Business uh, on this project as well and the hope is that we can actually start connecting graduates and uh, postgraduates with small businesses and see how they can actually help you improve your business and the students at the same time getting very good uh, work experience. So we see it as kind of a win-win uh, solution. So the last thing I'll say is thank you very much uh, for your time. Uh, if you can, have a look at our website, bowsy.com, and, and if you can register as an employer, or if you want to talk to us about what kind of tasks we can, you can reach me at john at bowsy.com. Excellent. Uh, well done, John. Uh, it, within five seconds of the three minutes, so brilliantly done. Well done. Fantastic. Thank you. Um, okay, next we've got Adrian Carmody from Optima Training. Adrian, you're very welcome. Maybe he's dropped off. Um, Adrian, you there? No? Okay, we'll move on. Uh, Alva Horgan. Alva, um, the floor is yours for three minutes. Okay, another one there. Okay. Uh, John, I know you're here because I saw you here earlier this morning before we started. So, John, the floor's yours. Over to you. Are we missing a few people here? Uh, John, John, you're, you're muted. Oh, sorry about that. Okay. You want to start again, John, because we yeah. didn't hear you at all there. My name is John Barry and I'm, our service is providing HR support to companies who generally don't have their own HR resource. Uh, people think HR is for big companies, but the reality is we're all now having to comply with law, practice, uh, and it's becoming very expensive. We are not compliant. Uh, it reference me made to compliance a couple of times a day, and it has now become the king. So we provide a free essential services to our clients. The first service would be that we provide a recruitment service. Uh, so we can either act as an employment agency for companies and we go out and headhunt or find people. Uh, we also provide support in terms of recruiting in-house so we can actually assist companies with their recruitment process rather than them going out and having to bring in a recruitment specialist or use an agency. Um, and we also do uh, vetting of people for, for companies, which is very important. But especially in small companies, uh, it is important that you get the right people. Uh, the wrong person in a small business can do a lot of damage to the business, whereas the right person can make a huge contribution to the business. So. Uh, and our, most of our customers would be small enterprises. The second part of our service would in fact be what's called HR support service. And that is the full suite of HR support that you'd expect from a fully staffed HR department. Again, many companies wouldn't be able to afford a full-time HR person. So uh, they don't do it or they try to cope with themselves or they give it to the uh, MD's assistant to do it for him or her. And it's just sometimes it's too much. So we can actually provide HR support either at arm's length on the phone and we will actually give, deal with any queries you might have uh, and generally we find that is our most popular service. That people have a problem, they phone us up, they know us, we know them and we can talk through the problem and often we can solve the problem without it becoming a major headache within the company. In other cases we actually have members of our team on site with our client for a number of days a week or a day a month or whatever. Again overseeing the HR administration in the company, but also then assisting with day-to-day -day problems. And they become the point of contact then for employees and the management uh, via phone or Zoom or whatever. So they are actually effectively doing the HR service, but just not actually present on the premises all the time. Um, and then finally, we have the uh, full on-site HR service where we provide people for, run, effectively run their HR department for them. 
uh, and for that people get the equivalent of a HR partner, they get the equivalent of a HR manager, and the equivalent of a HR director uh, as part of that service. And again, that is something uh, which is slowly growing in our business. And I'm delighted to say our first customer who joined us 33 years ago is now availing of that final service of full HR department service. So that's what we do on, on the HR support side. We also obviously assist companies in discipline and grievance and things like that, difficult things which can be uh, very hard in a small business. Um, and we would actually involve and support them in investigating disciplinary matters, doing bullying harassment investigations, which can be very uh, traumatic and, and are usually very personal. Um, and again, we can assist them in making sure they do it properly. Because if you don't do any of these things properly, unfortunately these days, you'll end up in Workplace Relations Commission and employers will be looking for some form of compensation. Okay, John, time's up there. Uh, if you want okay. to do a quick wrap, quick wrap. Yeah, so basically, uh, basically, if you need HR support, that's what you need. Come to us, we'll be able to help you out. It's John Barry. Thank you. Very, very good. Thanks, John. Thanks very much. Um, Rachel, Rachel Kane from Lifehack. Um, are you tuned in? Are you with us? A couple of seconds, see if she's unmuting. Can always come back to you, Rachel. Um, okay, moving on. Alison, Alison Tomlinson from Springboard Telemarketing. Alison, yes, the floor is yours. Hiya. Hi. 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 Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Alison Tomlinson. I'm a sole trader and I own and run Springboard Telemarketing. Um, I've done this for the last 15 plus years, first in the UK and now in Ireland. Uh, two years ago, my husband and I bought uh, a boarding kennels and cattery in County Longford. So I brought my business with me and we moved across to Ireland where I now work with Irish companies too. Um, I've worked with many different sized companies throughout the years and on many different campaigns for lots of business sectors. Um, in particular, I've done a lot of work on education, telecommunications, IT, retail, financial services. Some projects last only a few weeks and some can run for a few years. Um, I'm always professional but friendly and believe that speaking to somebody directly is the best way to engage a potential customer. So your customer's message is delivered, the company's message is delivered efficiently and confidently. Um, I can identify the right person you need to talk to and do the groundwork of introducing your product or services with a person who needs to know. And most importantly, if you need an appointment, be it face to face, or a telephone meeting, I can set that in place. I can keep your company CRM up to date, identify company changes, send emails and follow up leads. Um, I specialize in building a good customer relationship, identifying what their requirements might be and get any feedback from your products and services immediately. Um, I can follow up with potential and past clients, set tasks, log calls, and let them know that you're still around, especially in the current economic climate. Um, some examples of projects I've worked on in the last few years. Um, cybersecurity software campaign targeting private schools throughout the UK, speaking to the IT manager, trying to register interested parties for a monthly webinar. Um, kitchen design company, the head office was in central London, targeting architects, interior designers, speaking to the owner, registering interest in their company, asking permission for the details to be put onto the database and inviting them to monthly events at the showrooms. Um, I've also done some work for an IT consultancy in Belfast, uh, targeting different business sectors throughout Northern Ireland, speaking to the business owner, registering their interest in renewing their IT contracts and setting appointments as well. Um, first aid company in Dublin, targeting different business sectors like schools, golf clubs, local community groups, selling many different uh, first aid products over the phone, including defibrillators. Last few and, seconds there, um, Alison, sorry. And where necessary setting appointments for the local rep to visit. Um, my details are on the screen, my phone number, um, give me a call and we can chat further or email me. Thank you for your time. That's great. Thank you, Alison. Very well done indeed. Um, moving on to Jimmy. Jimmy Waltz from uh, Matrix Internet. Uh, Jimmy, the floor's yours. Thank, thank you very much. Um, 
My name is Jimmy Walsh from Matrix Internet. Um, I um, have fond memories of, I, I was a, an early member of uh, ISME, going back to the 90s, I had my own business and uh, we used to attend the uh, annual conferences and it was kind of a highlight of the business year at the time. So thanks very much ISME for organising today. Um, so a little bit about Matrix Internet. We're a full service digital agency um, in business over 20 years. Um, our services include UX design, web and app development and digital marketing. Um, our focus is on helping customers to, to deliver e-commerce websites and to sell effectively online. Um, clients would include the likes of Avoca, Butler's, uh, Newbridge Silverware, Foxford, Lisney's. We work for a company called GoCar, which is the car sharing platform. And we've, we've built a system that their business runs on now. Um, an interesting project we've involved in the last two or four years is with the IE domain where they run what's called the Optimized Program where we uh, provide a digital health tech of 40 companies in different sectors per year. And it might be an opportunity for ISME down the road. Um, just Samantha mentioned this there to, to give some tips. Um, so some tips would be to tell your story online. Uh, I mean, some great companies are some fa fascinating stories to tell. When you go to the website, it's not there. So tell your story, um, what's unique and different about you and what you can do for your customers and focus very much on the user. Um, the whole um, world has changed in the last few months and there's been a, a big move to uh, online. And the companies that are, are surviving and doing well now are the companies that have an online offer. Um, the, the stats out there that there's something like 2.2 billion were sold online last year. And would you believe less than 25% of that, uh, of those sales remained in Ireland? Um, I just wanted to introduce another company to do some work with. I'm a director of a company called Tender Team. We're um, a big consultancy. We provide training, consultancy, and practical support to companies to deliver uh, their tenders to private and public sector. Um, just to wrap up then, um, my name is Jimmy Walsh. Um, the web address for, for Matrix is matrixinternet.ie and um, for a big consultancy is, is tenderteam.ie. Thank you very much. That's great. Thank you very much indeed, Jimmy. Well presented. Um, just moving on to the next one there. Ruth, Ruth Russell from Self Storage. I think I saw you earlier, Ruth. I think you're online. The floor yeah. is yours. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, all good. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm Ruth I'm Russell. I'm the general manager for Self Storage Dublin. We are a family run storage business established by my dad over 25 years ago. So, why would anyone need? storage. Well, for an example, you are a startup or expanding your business and you need storage for your product or simply more space. We can solve that problem for you with one of our private storage rooms with your own lock and 24 hour access with CCTV. These rooms are available in small and large mm -hmm. sizes. Maybe if you're moving house or simply scaling down, we can store your items in one of our large fully insulated containers with 24 seven access and CCTV. During quarantine, you may have bought a boat and it's now sitting in your driveway and your neighbors might be quite annoyed. We have vehicle storage and we can take care of that for you and we can store it in our large shuttered warehouse. Whether it's domestic or commercial storage, we specialize in both. I'm very proud to say that we have the most competitive storage rates in the Northeast to suit everyone's needs and budgets. Some of our wonderful clients have been with us now for over 10 years. Um, we have been lucky to see many inspiring ideas um, that have grown from hobbies to successful businesses. So where are we based? We have three available sites at present. We have one in Temple O, came to Dublin at Spalwell Roundabout, which is two minutes from the M50. We have one in Ashburn, which is on the County Mead and County Dublin border, which is just seven minutes from the M50. And we also have our third site, which is in Puddin Hill, County Meath, that is a real place, it does exist. And that is 20 minutes from the M50 on the Slade site. So if maybe it's something that interests you or you may have a friend that needs storage, you can contact me there, my email is there, or you can contact me on LinkedIn. Thank you. That's great, well done Ruth, very good. And well within time, super, thank you. Um, thank you. <laughs> Um, just uh, find the next slide there. Sorry, uh, Tom, Tom Shanahan uh, from Kendall Bell. 
Good morning and uh, thanks for the opportunity to present. It's no worries, Tom. Good afternoon at this stage. Um, Kendall Bell is a, is a company, we, we provide a range of telephone support services to the SME market. Um, I brought the franchise to Ireland about 14 years ago. We currently have four offices and about 1,200 customers across the four offices. Um, a range of services are split into three, really. Most of our business are inbound telephone answering, uh, where we provide telephone answering services and message taking. We provide virtual reception where we can patch calls through. Uh, we provide uh, customer service. We do a lot of customer service work and order taking. And finally, on the inbound side, we do a lot of diary management for professionals, uh, doctors, physios, etc. We also provide outbound services. Um, we, we, we do a lot of telephone surveys, uh, telemarketing appointment generation, and database update and cleansing. Uh, and the third part of our um, services would be what we call our support services, where we can provide a, a business with a business address, with a geographic or a low-call number. Um, we have some automated services. We can, we can set up an IVR for you, an um, interactive voice response, a conference bridge service. And we also do some back office processing um, uh, where we, you can outsource your, some of your back office uh, administration to us. Why would you uh, use our services? Uh, we represent you very professionally. We've highly trained customer service uh, um, members. Uh, we make help you maintain a professional image and reputation. We can cover holiday sickness, overflow, and help you forward calls. We can also help you increase your revenue. Uh, if you use our services, you'll never miss a call. We can set up appointments on your behalf. We can take orders on behalf and give you more time to focus on the key tasks that need doing. And finally, we can help reduce your costs. Um, if you use our services instead of a reception, your costs are, are uh, lowered by up to 70%. Most of our services are charged on a pay-as-you-go basis, so it's variable cost. You don't have a fixed cost. Uh, we can help you localize your business without an office. In other words, we can provide you with a core clinic, call we number, and answer your calls in here. And finally, we can match your business levels and growth without employing extra staff. So as you grow your business, you don't necessarily need to take on more staff. So that, that's our services. My name is Tom Shanahan. Um, my email address is tom.shanahan at kbell.ie. And my mobile number is 087-255-2274. Thanks for the opportunity to present. Brilliant, thank you, Tom. That was fantastic. Um, uh, we are now on to uh, Rachel Munro from VA Evolution. Uh, Rachel, the floor's yours. Rachel, are you with us? No, okay, moving on. Liam Lynch, uh, Cybersecurity. Um, uh, over to you, Liam. Thank you, Adam, and good afternoon, everybody, and uh, thank you to ISME for giving me this opportunity to uh, pitch my business here this afternoon. So, uh, Liam Lynch, uh, I'm the owner and founder of L2 Cybersecurity Solutions. Uh, we do cybersecurity and data protection, GDPR training and consulting. Uh, I've over 30 years of experience in IT, and I started as a programmer way back in the 80s before moving into networking, infrastructure, and security in the 90s. And I've worked with uh, lots of uh, uh, companies, you know, some large corporations, but also lots of small businesses. And uh, those are the ones that I found that I have uh, greatest affinity for, uh, because, you know, we're all kind of, uh, everybody that I've dealt with are experts in their own fields, and, you know, there's great sharing of, of knowledge and information amongst them. So, uh, in, in my dealings with these people, though, you know, they're not technical or legal type, uh, you know, people. So, um, you know, I find that I'm able to communicate with them in very simple, easy to understand language. I don't use any jargon or legal terms. Uh, so, hence, the maximum of the business is security simplified. Uh, so, during the COVID-19, I've managed to 
transfer a lot of my training uh, solutions onto uh, online instructor-led um, uh, environment and you know people seem to be quite happy with it and because you know they're not losing their staff um, for huge chunks of time or they have to go out to a, a venue to get the training in so it, it has also enabled me to reduce my rates uh, for that training so the types of training I offer on the cybersecurity side would be board or of directors or senior management briefings. I do staff awareness uh, training. Uh, I also do some COVID-19 specific uh, training. Uh, and for those who would prefer to do online self-paced uh, training, I uh, do work with uh, Cyber Risk Aware to provide that service. On the data protection GDPR stuff, uh, again, I similarly provide board management uh, our board of directors or senior management briefings, staff awareness training, and also I offer a practical GDPR uh, training where you get advice on what you can actually do, what you have to put in place to get your business uh, com uh, compliant. Uh, I can also offer completely customized uh, training as well, which if you look on my website there, l2cybersecurity.com, you'll get the full details there. On the cybersecurity consulting, I offer completely independent advice. Uh, to help your businesses protect themselves from uh, cyber incidents and also business resiliency. And finally, with the data protection consulting, I offer data GDPR audits using the Serity uh, auditing platform, which is really detailed and uh, superb. You can get details of that on the GDPR section of my website. So if you follow any of my socials, you can get, uh, I put out a two minute weekly video um, every Friday with some quick tips on cybersecurity and data protection. And the one tip I would just offer to everybody at this time is uh, people are using, uh, um, you try to use emotional uh, uh, terminology to get you to push buttons or press, uh, press links on, on emails. So if you get an email that makes you feel emotional, don't click the link, pause for five seconds. Very good. Thank you very much indeed, Liam. That was that was excellent. So just uh, I had to sort of jump in there because we were just going over time, but that's uh, that's super. Thanks very much indeed for your presentation there. Um, Maureen McCowan from Soft Skills Success. Um, Maureen, are you with us? I am indeed. Thank you, Great. waiting patiently here. Thank <laughs> you very much to Ismi for the opportunity for today, and also just a shout out and thanks to Sam for promoting today's event in her Women's Inspire Network. That's how I found out about it. So. I have three reasons why clients come to me. First one is for career advancement. Somebody might find that they are doing quite well in their career, but that their progress has been halted because of poor presentation skills. Secondly is for confidence and Public speaking confidence means different things to different people. For some people, it is the confidence to be able to speak up at a meeting. For others, it's the confidence to be able to deliver a networking pitch or to be able to speak up at a conference and deliver a long presentation or a keynote. So confidence is the second reason, but the top reason why clients come to me is for clarity. They're looking for clarity, in their message to be able to deliver their message, whether it's 60 seconds or 60 minutes, in a way that is going to really resonate with the audience and people have a clear understanding of what they're saying without them wandering off and rambling and going down all sorts of side roads like what we can do. So I'm Maureen McCown from Soft Skills Success, and we provide communication and presentation skills training that help business professionals develop their skills so that they can communicate with clarity and present without pressure. And we offer that service in three different ways. First of all, I run workshops. So public speaking workshops and 60 second pitch training workshops. My next one is coming up in three weeks time on the 16th of July. Secondly, I run one-to-one -one tra tailored training. So working with individuals through a package that is going to help them develop those skills so that they can communicate with clarity and build up their confidence. And thirdly, offering in-house training. So that is bespoke to the needs of the individual organization. And it can be working with teams there or working again one-to-one -one with clients within that particular sector. That at the moment is also working with people who are now finding that they're presenting virtually. So it could be in-house meetings or presentations to clients that they're delivering virtually and they want to do that in a way that's going to create maximum impact. Before I leave, I have 
three short tips, the ABC of tips I was thinking about it while I was waiting for my turn here today. So the A for audience, when you're putting your presentation together, always think about it from the audience point of view. What do you want them to remember and to take away from what you've said? B for body language. When we are presenting on screen in particular, it's really important that you're showing energy and enthusiasm in your body language. And C for camera. The camera is your friend. It is your way to be able to make eye contact with everybody at that meeting. So make sure that you're focusing on the camera rather than reading off a screen or looking elsewhere. Keep the focus that's there. So Follow me on social media, video tips like what uh, Liam, the previous speaker said, I have video tips on social media as well. I'm Maureen from Soft Skills Success, Unlocking Public Speaking Confidence. Thank you very much, Maureen. That was excellent. Um, as I say, um, uh, do all, all of you do, do please give, drop me a line, uh, adam at um, uh, uh, just um, with your services. Um, but as I say, we will be letting everyone have a recording of this <clears throat> so, and uh, the, the business cards as well will be made available. So we have Emma Finn, Bees on the Roof. Uh, Emma, are you with us? I am, yeah, thank you. Great, good to see you. The floor's yours. Thank you. Did you know that 50% of bees in Ireland are under threat? Or in the US, that since 19, uh, 1990, there's been a 60% drop in the number of beehives in the US. My name is Emma Finn. My business is called Bees on the Roof and I've been a beekeeper for over 10 years now. My business is just brand new. My aim is to increase the number of beehives in Dublin, to increase the areas of biodiversity and to increase suitable habitats and reduce fragmentation. How am I going to do this? My aim originally was to put bees uh, on the roofs of corporate offices in schools on their wasteland. Um, with the COVID, I'm pivoting the business slightly in that I can be doing a lot of the training online. Uh, my aim is to educate and inform through CSR programs to help people, staff, people get up close and personal with the bees and to educate them to teach them respect for the environment and about the bees' life and what they can do to help it. It's a very good way of engaging staff and it can be a longer term program and increase team building. Um, if it's a longer term program that people can get involved in rather than just a couple of days or a couple of weeks, they get to see the whole natural life cycle of the bees. They get to see the build up uh, from the spring into the summer, the, the honey being taken and then how the, uh, the bees are shut down for winter. And then if it goes over winter, you get to see the whole cycle start again the following year. It's a very interesting thing and obviously very on topic at the moment. Uh, putting in hives is a very efficient way to increase pollination um, uh, in an area, but it also needs to be done in, um, in tangent with uh, increased planting because you need forage and you need biodiversity for all these bees that you're putting in. So you need to have a range of forage going, particularly in the early spring where, the, where there isn't that much available. So you might have seen the, um, on social media for the last few months, especially early on, don't cut, please don't mow your lawn, leave the dandelions, all this kind of thing. So I think uh, there is a much greater awareness of it now. So, but it's increased biodiversity, which is very important. There are 101 bee species in Ireland there's only one honeybee, which is the one I'm concentrating on, but any, um, any events or any situations where we're increasing forage and biodiversity for that honeybee is going to improve the situation for the 19 bumblebees and for the 81 solitary bees. So it's all connected together. I also want to give uh, talks in schools. I have been doing that for the last number of years clubs and environmental groups. I have developed a program that will lead them almost up to beginner beekeeper level. In two years, I would like to be able to give a quantifiable increase in the number of beehives in Dublin city. Last few seconds there, Emma, please. Thank you. Okay. I want to be able to show the increase that I have brought. So it's bees on the roof. Thanks very much for listening. Also, if you're a small business, it, you might have some land around you that would be useful too. Thanks very much. That's thank you, Emma. That's really, really interesting business. That was uh, great to listen to. Thanks very much indeed. 
Um, some good comments coming into the chat room there about your business, about loving your business already. So there you go. Well done. That's brilliant. Um, okay. Do we have Gene Evans from Highline Office Technology with us? Gene. See if she's trying to unmute. Um, we will move on. Uh, Kieran O'Brien from TAB, from TAB. Are you with us, Kieran? I'm with you, yeah. Good afternoon. Great. Good afternoon. Um, I'm Kieran O'Brien from TAB, um, the Alternative Board. We help business owners improve their efficiencies within their business, increase their profitabilities, and gather a better work-life balance. I have a little story for you rather than a pitch today. Um, I consider running a business uh, really like a bike. And how that works is, at the start of your business, uh, most business owners look with the front wheel to be their vision, where they want to go in their life, what they want to achieve, and really what a fulfilled life looks to them. Um, the back of the bike, the back, the, the back wheel, is really the, the business. It also is aligned with the, the goal of the owner, but in some ways it provides the traction and it also provides the financial uh, wherewithal to achieve that vision that the business owner or, uh, may have. And off they go on their business, it sets off, like everything happens, business comes and goes, life moves on, and then one day, on a nice sunny holiday, maybe in a fancy destination, um, they're on the, the veranda at six o'clock in the morning. The kids and the husband or wife are inside fast asleep and they're hoping that they'll sleep for another three hours to let them get enough time to do their emails before they, uh, they wake up. And then later on, they nip up to the hotel room on the pretense of getting uh, some towels. Really, they're on a video call for half an hour. And through the day, they're taking calls and really trying to keep that business moving along. And then they realize that the front wheel of the bike is now at the back. And the, the back wheel is really driving their life. The business is running their life. Uh, and as a bike mechanic, I sit down with the business owner and try and get the front wheels back on track. I look at what's the clarity of the vision. Where did you want to really go with your life and your business? And is that really clear? And is there a nice plan to get that in place? Do you know where you're going? Because if you don't know where you're going, there's a good chance that you're definitely not going to get there. Second part of, the, of what we do in TAB is we provide the business owner with the opportunity to look at the back wheel, the gears, Look at all the things that maybe they don't spend enough time on, their time management, their employee engagement, sitting down talking to suppliers and staff, looking at strategic plans, looking at the marketing, checking the financials once a month, and probably after COVID, trying to design a new part of their business, something that will bring them forward. And all the time, keeping in mind that the front wheel is important, that they're looking after their health, that they're doing mindfulness, that they're keeping healthy, and that really they're going to ultimately get to their destination. So with 35 years of business experience, a ton of qualifications and coaching and education, I'm your bike mechanic that hopefully would get your life back on track and get your bike back with the front wheels working really well. How did I do? Three, three minutes. minutes. Bang on three, three minutes, Kieran. Well, well done. Thank Superb. you. <laughs> Very well done. Uh, excellent. Now we've got uh, last one on our... Um, PowerPoint here, we've got uh, Gabrielle uh, Matthews. Um, Gabrielle, are you with us? No. Now, do, do some people were missed earlier on. Do, uh, they may have joined us late. Has everyone who's still on the call presented? I think that's affirmative. Actually, I didn't get a chance to say what I did. That's really. Sam, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I did say remind me, didn't I, Sam? Yeah, sorry, Sam. <laughs> yes, of course. Sam, who's, who, who started the, um, uh, the event this, uh, this morning. Uh, Sam, the floor is yours for three yeah, minutes. Yeah, just a quick one there. First of all, Emma, that's a great story. Definitely, if you need any help getting it out there. Um, as we were saying earlier, it's all about the story. And Kieran, I loved the way you presented as well. I mean, it was fantastic. And what I do, actually, in case you didn't know, is I actually help people with their digital strategy, make sure you're going out to the right audience. For example, with Emma, Twitter is awash with people eco-friendly, all of that kind of stuff, sustainability. Um, so they would be very interested in what you're doing, Emma. Um, it's all about adding value. And I help you to find where your audience are hanging out, um, help you to tell your story, 
through social media. Also, I do webinars, live streaming. Um, I can show you how to create an online course if you want to do that. Uh, because I've been working online for the past uh, five, six years. And I've even created uh, my own uh, Women's Inspire Network for women in business. So it was great hearing um, Maria as well about the bookkeeping because I'm often asked for bookkeeping um, from people, from members. So yeah, Maureen's a member as well. So definitely if you're interested in learning about how to shine online, if you're not online, definitely have a website, chat to Jimmy, definitely have a good website. Uh, this is the time to be online. And, and if you're not online now, you will, your competitors will get ahead of you. So if you need any help pivoting online or shining online, definitely get in touch. Thank you very much for the opportunity. That's fabulous, Sam. Thank you very much indeed. I'm glad we could squeeze you in on the end. That's Thank great. <laughs> Thanks for your patience as well. And uh, You're grand. just like to say to all the presenters here, I know there's a few people have had to had to drop off whilst we've been going on. It's busy times and what have you and kids are at home now and, and, and the like. So it's busy. Um, thank you to all of you. You'd obviously worked very hard on your USP and your elevator pitch. Um, I do hope, I sincerely hope that you guys will be able to contact people who are of interest to each other from this platform. Um, we'd love to hear about any success stories. Um, so uh, thank you very much once again. Uh, it's been a, a great experience. We will be running these again. So please stay in touch uh, and we look forward to seeing you at some of our events. Thanks very much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Take thank care. You. Thank you. Enjoy the sun. Thanks. <laughs> there you go.